Be careful who you invite home for dinner. And that goes for lawyers, too. Yeah, this is case number 85 on the count in the matter of Robinson versus Davis. No smoking. Okay. Now, my question to you, sir, is you've been very quiet. The reason I started with her first is because what's the point in listening to you? Miss really Davis, hadn't... I would like you to start from the beginning. He pulled me over and he told me um, that I was allegedly going too fast. License, registration, proof of insurance. Thank you very much. Have a seat in your car. And he put his hand up in my face. Absolutely, positively, 100%. That is exactly what happened. She was traveling 58. Go ahead. So she. I have a tape recording of the conversation that occurred between uh, Miss Davis and myself. And maple syruping has begun in Lake Wobegon, and all of the uh, fish houses are off the lake, except for that enormous one that uh, Mr. Detmer's cousin um, had put up. He's down in Chicago. Please apologize. You were going 58 miles in a 40-hour zone, and you owe him an apology. I mean, uh, that's your voice, right? He didn't get somebody to dub your voice. No, it, so far, I see your counterclaim shrinking. Can I add that he put his hand in my face? Self-defense. Should someone who works for the Los Angeles Police Department be putting a hand in my face? Those are questions that are left for a court. To me, someone who works for the Los Angeles Police Department should not be putting a hand in my face. He's doing this for retaliation for personal gain. He's suing me for $5,000. Quiet. 